Hello everyone and welcome to today's YouTube video. Today I am going to demonstrate how to transport known disposable equipments outside an isolation unit. Isolation means being separated or set apart. The sole purpose of isolation is to ensure that the infectious organisms are contained and separated in order to prevent the spread of infection to others. Reusable or non-disposable medical equipments are the equipments which can be reprocessed and reused on multiple patients. They are of mainly three categories, the critical category which includes surgical forceps which come in contact with blood and sterile tissues. Second is the semi-critical category which includes instruments such as the endoscope uh, which come in contact with the mucous membrane. Third is the non-critical category, for example, the stethoscope, which come only in contact with intact skin. We have to ensure that the reusable equipments are not used for the care of another patient until and unless they have been properly sterilized. Cleaning is done in the room by the nursing assistant or the housekeeper. Before continuing, we have to ensure that we are wearing all kinds of personal protective equipments to ensure that we are safe from any kind of infections that might happen during the transfer of non-disposable equipments. If we are wearing a gown, we have to put the gloves of the gloves over the sleeves like this. Next, we have to put on a mask. Next, I'm wearing a surgical cap. Before leaving the isolation unit, wipe the equipment with a disinfectant wipe if possible. Place the equipment in a biohazard plastic bag. In some facilities, a second person opens a large plastic bag and folds the top over into a cuff to cover his or her hands. Here, improvisation is used. Now, pick up the bag containing the equipment and leave the isolation unit. After placing the known disposable equipments in the designated area for sterilization, remove your gloves. Always wash your hands well or use alcohol-based hand cleaner immediately after removing PPE. Once outside the unit, disinfect and sterilize the equipments. Apply PPE necessary for the cleaning procedure. Some equipments may be terminally cleaned in the isolation unit after the isolation has been completed. Thank you for watching the YouTube video.